Okay, so once you are done with your sewing up your sleeves and your body, this is what it should be looking like. See? There you have your arm. And there you have the body. Okay? So the next step is we will be joining the body arm armhole and the sleeve armhole. So go ahead and pin those together. And if you cut it right, they should match up. And if they don't match up, that's okay. Just try and align it as best as you can and go from there. And you want it to be aligned really here at the seams. That's the most important, uh, important part that it needs to be aligned. If that's aligned, then you can go from, from there. So once you pin that down, you can go ahead and sew those together. And so this is what you're going to end up looking like, or it's, it is going to end up looking like. Okay. So go ahead and sew those down and then I'll be back. Okay. So by now your top should be looking like this. You sewed up everything right. This is how your top should look like. So the next step is we want to um, feed in or sew the area where our elastic is going to go. So first, measure out um, your elastic. This goes around you. And just feel for how tight or how loose you want the top to fit. I would say slightly slightly on a, not too tight because what happens when it's too tight it starts to to ride ride or rise so try and make it snug but not too tight so figure out what that um, that length is cut that out cut that out and then we'll go from there Okay, so next we are going to be sewing up the casing for the elastic. Um, whatever size you are using, you can use a larger size, you can use a smaller size. So this is the size of elastic I'm using, and I'll slightly gauge how much casing I need. Let me turn this this way. How much casing I need, and Go ahead and fold that over and pin, pin that down. So I'm gonna be sewing just about there and leaving enough room for the elastic to go through. So we're gonna do that all around your top and then we will go from there.
Okay, so once your top is done, you've put in your elastic, you have hemmed up your sleeves. This part is optional. So I wanted a bit of shape um, to my shirt. So what I'm going to do is just do a, like a scalloped edge. So make sure that your seams or your hems, this is hem, they are aligned. So make sure your shirt is aligned. And what I'm going to do is just cut out like a scalloped edge. And that just gives, I don't know, it just gives a nice, a nice style. Now I don't have any measurements. If you're going to do this, you can do this as deep or as shallow as you want. So you can just test this out. You can start small or you could go, um, you could go wide. So I haven't yet hemmed my top and so this is kind of the look I'm going for. Do you see? You get that scalloped edge. So once you do that, you can go ahead and hem, um, hem that, just make sure it's nice and even. So you can go ahead and hem that. That's if you want to go with that option. If not, that's fine. Then you're pretty much done with sewing up the top. You just need to hem it, um, hem it up. Okay, so next we will be um, preparing our flower pieces to place on the shirt. Now, these come with um, adhesive already on them, but I had used these before and they didn't stick quite well, so that's why we're using this bond adhesive. So what you want to do is cut out as much of the outline of the flower as you can. So that, so we're gonna just, um, do that. Okay, so we've cut out our um, bonding adhesive as much as we can following the outline of the flower. So the next thing is that we want to transfer the glue from the paper onto the flower. So um, make sure to use, because we're using this method, make sure that you have a paper at the bottom of your, um, of your glue because what's going to happen is some of the glue will transfer to the paper and you don't want that on your ironing board. So on medium heat just go ahead and place your iron in for about I would say maybe 10 seconds or just feel around and see if the glue is actually sticking and I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend steam right now so just you just want the heat and what you want is the glue to transfer to the applique Okay. So I think it, it's done that and we'll just let it cool for a little bit. So you're going to notice that some of the glue from the paper is actually going onto the paper that we placed on the ironing board. So this is acting as a protector. Okay. So I think this has cooled, so what you want to do is kind of roll back the paper. 
Now only the paper in. I'm sorry, you won't be able to see this, but there we go. So you should be able to see the film of glue. See that. If you can see that. Ooh. Okay. So, anyways. So, the film of glue and roll back the paper. Okay. So, that's what it's supposed to look like. Now, go ahead and Try and cut out as much, now follow the outline of the flower, cut as much as you can of this glue um, off of your applique, okay? Okay, so once you cut out your um, applique as much, or rather cut out the glue as much as you can, you can go ahead and place it onto your bell sleeve. Position it wherever you want. I want it more centered, so I'll have it in the center. And also remember, um, there's no particular front or back for your top, so decide which side is the front and which side is the back and you want to place this um, at the front facing part and make sure you match that on the other sleeve as well okay so I'm gonna place that there and because we still have glue um, around the flower we will go ahead and get our paper because we don't want this transferring onto your iron. So, so place your paper and then uh, place your iron on top of that and you can let it heat for about 10 seconds, check on it, and then if you feel it has stuck, um, you can go ahead and take your paper off. But I would do maybe 10 seconds each, so another 10 seconds. Okay, so that's what your applique should be looking like. And that sticks pretty, pretty well. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, so do that for the other side as well. Congratulations, you finished your top. So you should have your bell sleeves, your applique, and your off shoulder, as well as your scalloped edges. Now, I did mention that this was optional for you to do, but I highly suggest that you actually do it, only because I think it gives a nice cute style, but it also gives some ease to your shirt. Like if it's fitting like mine, I felt it was slightly tight when this was closed. So this just gives you more ease and more movement. If you feel, okay, this is not something that you want, what you could do is just increase your length, your width of the body, and that should um, give you a good amount to, to work with. So other than that, that, that's the end of the tutorial. So thanks again for watching, guys. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Was this an easy enough tutorial for you to do without a pattern? And um, please remember to like, subscribe, make, and share. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye.